Welcome to our exciting journey where we transform ChatGPT, a powerful text-based AI, into a voice-activated assistant that can revolutionize the way we interact with technology. Imagine turning the sophisticated capabilities of ChatGPT into your personal assistant, accessible with just your voice. Today, we will explore how to make that a reality. From simple commands to complex conversations, see how voice activation can bring a new dimension to this advanced AI. We will start with the basics of integrating voice recognition features with ChatGPT, discussing both the tools and technologies you will need. Then we'll guide you through the setup process, showing you step by step how to build your own voice activated system. Follow along as you dive deep into customizing responses, refining voice recognition accuracy and enhancing user interactions to create a seamless and intuitive user experience. And by the end of this tutorial, you will not only understand the technical framework, but also the vast possibilities of enhancing everyday life with your newly built voice activated assistant. So whether for home automation, personal assistance, or even business efficiency, the potential is immense. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. And before we move on, guys, just a quick info for you. If you're one of the aspiring AI and ML enthusiasts looking for online training and graduating from the best universities, or a professional who elicits to switch careers in AI and ML by learning from the experts, then try giving a show to Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and ML in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM. You can find the course link in the description box below and pin comment. So let's get started. So let's get started guys. So this is our chat GPT and we want to make it as an AI assistant. So what we'll do is we will use a Chrome extension that is talk to chat GPT extension. Moving on to that, we will install that extension into the same browser where your chat GPT has been logged and it's applicable for the 3.5 version of chat GPT and the GPT-4 also. Like if you have the free version of GPT, you could also integrate talk to chat GPT extension into it. So as it has been installed, we'll refresh the chat GPT and you could see that here's a dialog box appeared with the name talk to chat GPT. And after clicking on start, you could see there are options, mic, volume, and this option is, you could skip the message that has been currently being read by the board. And these are the settings. If you unmute this and talk to chat GPT or give any prompt, it will listen to it and run the prompt. And before that, we'll move to the settings. And here you could see that we have AI voice and language. And in this, you could choose any one of them. And these are freely available. You could use any of them. And there are no limit credits for this. So let's have a demo for this. So we'll unmute and we'll ask chat gpt to list the difference between list and tuples in python so you could see that the chat gpt has taken our prompt and started generating the response So we'll stop this prompt and moving back to settings. First, we'll unmute this as ChatGPT will take the prompt. Uh, moving back to the settings, you could see here that there are various free AI voice languages that you can choose from. Else, we have another option that is Even Labs, and this is one of the prominent AI speakers in the market today. So we'll get the Even Labs API key and paste it here, and we'll get some credits that would be according to the characters and we'll use them and show you guys how we can use it and there's a voice control system here if you say the stop word the prompt will automatically stop or the response that would be generating by the chat gpt that will get halted and this pause word also if you speak the pause word uh, with the mic unmuted it will catch the pause word and it will pause the prompt there only so we'll save this and we'll search for even labs api key so moving to even labs first you have to do is sign up and create a profile here 
and after that move to the profile section and here you could see the api key copy that and get back to your chat gpt and in the settings of talk to gpt extension you have enabled the even labs api key and here i will paste it and i will make it blur so you guys won't be able to access it so we have pasted the api key here and you could choose from the even labs voice that would be only in english or multi language and here are the voice assistants that are available so we will choose antony here and save it so as you unmute this option you could ask the prompt with the chat gpt and he will answer and provide the solution to you so let's try out once so let's see the output we will ask chat gpt what is the difference between list and tuples in python you could see that chat gpt has it looks like there might have been a typo or misunderstanding in the original question regarding doubles in python if you meant tuples instead i already provided a comparison between lists and tuples however if you meant doubles as in a data type for storing decimal or floating point numbers the term double isn't specifically used in python like it is in some other programming languages e g o c or java in python floating point numbers are typically referred to just as floats and they are used to represent both single and double precision numbers depending on the platform python's float type typically as you can see that the chat gpt has provided us the response and it is acting as an ai voice assistant and here are the voice that you can choose from and i have one of them that is of alex and paul similarly you could choose any one of them and we have some of the free credits that you can use let's move to the subscription plans and we have 10000 characters per month free with the initial plan and if you want to upgrade the plan here are the subscriptions and with that guys we have made chatgpt as an ai voice assistant and if you like this video please like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts you can comment down in the comment section below till then stay safe and keep learning staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career we've got you covered Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting-edge domains including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.